Two years ago, I made a video on the history of Kevin the Carrot. So this video will go over everything said in that video, plus everything that happened in 2020, 2021, and 2022, if those were not said in that one. Well, some of the 2020 stuff was said, but not all of it. So let's get started. So Kevin the Carrot is Ali's Christmas mascot. He has been used in all of Ali's Christmas adverts from 2016 onwards, but recently he has branched out and has been used in other scenarios as well. But today we will be talking about all of this and more. So his first appearance was as stated previously in Ali's Christmas 2016 advert on November 12th. In the ad, he walks through a table full of Aldi food to try to get the Santa's mince pie, so when Santa comes to collect it, he will be there to meet him. But he gets tired and falls asleep. Santa mistakes him as a cat for the reindeer, so he is trapped on the antlers of one of them and the advert ends. Other ads were produced this year, such as one where Kevin is hyped to watch the new John Lewis ad. Interestingly, they promote another company in this one, which is pretty interesting. It also features Ali's old logo, as this was the current logo at the time, and it was changed in 2017. But they have reused the advert in later years, and it is still there, so it's a little bit of trivia for you. Another one shows other carrots and a parsnip auditioning for the role of Kevin. A plush show of our boy was also made. Every year they make plushies, and they used to sell out really fast, but in the past few years, it just doesn't seem like the hype has been there for them. November 7th, 2017 would mark his next appearance in the 2017 Aldi Christmas ad. Here, he starts off as a nose for a snowman. He sees a train, and in one of those coaches is a silhouette. It's a chef, but he thinks it's Santa. He's hoping to meet him once more, so he climbs aboard. He once again sees a table full of Aldi food that he has to make his way through to get to his goal. His goal being a new female carrot called Katie, who he thinks is hot. Once he gets there, he accidentally pushes a pepper pot onto some spoons, which sends a pea flying at Katie. He heroically jumps in front of her to save her, and the ad ends. The ad that resembled there was an ad which introduced their children, a son called Jasper, a daughter called Chantanay, and a baby called Baby. There were more plushies this year, Kevin, this time wearing the scarf he got in the ad that introduced the kids, Katie, and the kids. In terms of the ones I have from this set, all I have is just Kevin and Katie. There was also a book called Kevin and Katie's Christmas Adventure. November 1st, 2018, would be when he'd return once again. This time he'd be driving a truck parody of the Coca-Cola Christmas lorry. Laurie slips and almost falls off a cliff. It ends with a hashtag saying, hashtag save Kevin. This was not the main ad for this year though. That was Kevin the Carrot and the Wicked Parsnip on November 8th. Pascal Parsnip kidnaps Katie and the kids, so it's Kevin's duty to save them. He once again has to get through a table full of Aldi food to get to them. Kevin jumps into a wine bottle, shooting up to the cage and his family are locked in. He frees them, defeats Pascal and leaves. Plot twist, it was all a story that Katie and Kevin were reading to their kids. More plushies would release this year. The family wearing Christmas jumpers and Pascal. There was also a 100cm plush of Kevin. I got all the plushies from the set by Kevin himself and the big 100cm one. Another book was released called Kevin the Carrot and the Christmas Beanstalk. November 1st, 2019 would be when the teaser for 2019's ad was launched. This would feature a group of sprouts called the Leafy Blinders and their leader Russell Sprout. It featured them wanting to take back Christmas. A limited edition Russell plush was released as a giveaway in Ali's social media, and boy does it look miles better than the piece of shit that actually launched for him. The actual ad came out on November 7th, and showed the leafy blinders tying Kevin to a cheese grater, because Christmas before Kevin was all about sprouts. It turns out that the tomato they threw at him is none other than Tiny Tom. He frees Kevin, and they get to the circus, where the family is waiting for them on, once again, a table full of Aldi food. Kevin then miraculously gets the singing voice of Robbie Williams, and sings a parody and much better version of Let Me Entertain You. Russell Sprout gets tied to a firework and is defeated. More plushies released this year, Kevin and his family in Circus Ovitz, a shit version of Russell Sprout and Tiny Tom. 100cm plushies of Circus Kevin, Circus Katie, and Kevin with a kilt were released as well. The only ones from this set I have are Circus Kevin, Tiny Tom, and 100cm Circus Kevin. Russell Sprout is so damn hard to get, but I will get him one day, even if he does look shit. Another book called Kevin the Carrot and the Magical Circus was released as well. Limited edition plushies of Kevin and Katie wearing doctor and nurse outfits came out during mid-2020 because of the virus that was on during that year. Money raised for them went straight to the NHS, so that was a good thing. November 1st, 2020 would have Kevin's second appearance for that year. It was a teaser for the main ad and featured Kevin and his wingman turkey flying a plane in a parody of Top Gun. It heats up, so the turkey stupidly opens a window, and this makes Kevin fly out. It ends with the hashtag, hashtag save Kevin. The main ad was released on November 7th and had Kevin's family waiting for him to come home on a table full of Aldi food, of course. It then shows him falling from the sky in the middle of nowhere. He then tries to get home and sees a hedgehog called Harry, who he rides to get home. He then sees Santa, who takes them home, and the ad ends. Interestingly, when they meet Santa, there is a banner in the background which thanks the NHS 
because this was in 2020 and obviously they deserve to get thanked for their hard work and not just that year but any year to be honest. But this was edited out in the Irish version of the ad. There were even more plushies this year, Pilot Kevin and his wingman Turkey, Kevin and his family with Christmas jumpers and cracker hats, and Harry the Hedgehog and great grandmother and great grandfather. Kevin in a kill also returned this year but as a normal sized plush this time and not a big one like last time. He was also available outside of Scotland, unlike last time which he was only available in Scotland. There was also a big version of the Jumper Kevin plush release. Also the only ones I have from this set are Pilot Kevin, Wingman Turkey and Kevin in a Kilt. The great grandparents and Harry were way too hard to find. Turkey was hard to find too but I did get him in the end. There was another book released called The Need for Swede. 25th of June 2021 had a limited edition Malibu Kevin which you could only win through hourly bids. There was also a Kevin mascot costume to promote it. November 6, 2021 would be when the teaser for the Christmas ad came out. It featured a baby banana called a Banana Scrooge. He was waiting for Santa next to a mince pie, but Santa chose it instead of him, which pissed him off so much that he'd get a grudge against Christmas for the rest of his life. The main ad came out on the 10th and was a party of a Christmas carol. It featured a banana as a grown-up hating on Christmas. He saw the spirit of Christmas on his door knocker, telling him to cheer up, but that creeped him out. He then went to bed and had nightmares, then the spirit of Christmas woke him up and he tried to make him like Christmas. Interestingly, when they go past Marcus Radishford, he's next to a basket that says the name of a charity on it, but this is changed between the UK and the Irish versions. In the UK version, it is neighborly, but in the Irish version, it is Bernardo's. They then go past another table full of Aldi food until a banana wakes up and sees the error of his ways. He fixed the snowman made by Tiny Tom and apologizes to Kevin and his family, which he didn't even do anything to them in this ad, but oh well, guess he did something off screen. The plushies made for this campaign were Kevin and his family in Dickensian outfits, a banana Scrooge, The Spirit of Christmas, Marcus Bridesford, Peas and Goodwill, Tiny Tom, Cuthbert the Caterpillar, and a banana snowman. There was also a book called A Christmas Carrot. In 2022, Kevin would make another appearance on Slide of Christmas. May 22nd was when the limited edition Queen's Jubilee, rest in peace, Kevin plushies released. They had Kevin and Katie as the Queen and Duke, two corgis, a rural guard, the first and only Kevin plush to be a human, as well as Kevin and Katie in British outfits. The Feast of Football ad came out on November 6th, 2022. This was a teaser for the proper ad. It was made for the 2022 Qatar World Cup. Kevin and his family were at an airport waiting for their flight to Paris when Kevin saw a famous footballer, Rinaldi. Kevin then got caught up playing a football match with him along with other parodies of many famous footballers such as Messi, Mbappé, Maradona and Roy Bean until he missed his flight to Paris and Katie and the kids were on the flight without him. Katie even parodying the Home Alone thing. Then on the 10th of November the full ad came out which was a parody of Home Alone with Santa trying to get into Kevin's house to leave him presents but Kevin thinks he's a burglar. So Kevin makes a trap similar to Kevin McAllister does in Home Alone and Kevin then becomes a snowman's dick until he sees Santa, Katie and the kids and then they have a Christmas together. There are numerous plush toys releases here, with Kevin, Katie, and the family as always, this time parodying Home Alone. There was also a turtle and a ballerina, and honestly, these characters only appear for like 2 seconds, so there's no point in getting them, it just waste your money if you do. They also made plushies of Rinaldi, Messi, Marudonna, Roy Bean, and Mbab. There's also a book called No Carrot Left Behind. In terms of the ones from this set, all I have are just Kevin and the footballers. Like in 2021's Christmas ad, there was another promotion, for the charity Neighborly, and in the Irish version it was changed to Bernardo's, but in the ad, Jasper actually says the name of the charity so that the lines had to be changed between versions. Usually in the Irish versions of the ads, character voices are swapped out for Irish actors rather than English, but they never usually change words. Anyway, subscribe and like the video. Good